Hey guys, Jim Nix with Nomadic Pursuits and I've got another video for you today. And this time we're going to talk about luminosity masking in Aurora. It's something that came up on a recent webinar that I had and it also, uh, I get questions about it from time to time. Uh, it's an incredibly powerful feature, but it's not something that's common for, for most people. So I think it's either confusing or intimidating and I want to shed a little light on it and talk about it today. Uh, the truth is, as I said, it's super powerful and it's... Um, it's really actually very easy to use. And so I want to take you through some before and after to show you how it can impact a photo. Uh, the first question you probably have is what is a luminosity mask? And it's basically a mask that Aurora will create for you automatically. And it's based on the light or, or brightness values within an image. And so let me show you a couple of examples of a photo with and without a, a luminosity mask to give you a better idea of what I mean by that. So I have this photo here and there's no uh, adjustments yet to this photo. You can see all these menus uh, items on the right hand side are all white, which means there have been no adjustments. So I'm going to go add a layer and we'll just call that layer one and I'm going to add a preset to it. And I'm going to pick this I'm in, in the dramatic category. I'm going to pick this late fall preset simply because it's overdone uh, for this photo in terms of colors uh, and detail, right? So there it is. You can see the before and after. That's what the photo looked like. It was, a, it was a great scene in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, nice pastel colors, etc. And uh, here it is with that late fall preset. So pretty gaudy, pretty over the top, and unnatural looking. So I'm going to clear that. Now just try to keep a visual rem, uh, you know, reminder in your head of what this looked like. But let me clear that. Take us back to what this scene initially looked like. And now I'm, you go into this right, here, uh, right hand menu on your... A layer uh, panel and you come down here to create luminosity mask <clears throat> and there you go so it's created already you can see the mask in here and let me show you the mask here this is a better way to describe what a luminosity mask is if you'll notice the brightest areas of the photo uh, such as the sky uh, they're masked in you know completely at 100 percent whereas you're going to see a much less opacity mask down here in the darker areas. Over here, there's really no mask on this dark door and on this dark door. Over here by the bicycle and the window, things like that. And there's varying degrees of the mask across the image. So all it does is just automatically create a mask for you based on the light values. That's really what it is. So I'm going to hide the mask by clicking there again. Now, if you remember that preset, I'm going to go grab it again, late fall, in the dramatic category. And I'm going to apply it to the photo. And it's going to take it a second here. And there you go. Now, if you remember the last time on the regular uh, preset at 100% without a luminosity mask, it was very gaudy, super colorful, really over the top. And now look at this. Uh, it's still not what I would do. In fact, the original photo is how I initially processed it in Aurora. But uh, this is uh, much more palatable. So what the luminosity mask does is based on the varying opacities. And let me show you the, uh, the mask again. Based on the varying opacities, the effects of the preset will be applied basically selectively based on the light values and the intensity of the mask. And so what this does, it gives you the ability to apply things, but in a much more subtle manner. And so if you, you like the natural look, a very natural HDR, etc., that's a, it's a great way to go about doing it. And uh, it's all automatic, right? You just literally create luminosity mask and then apply your presets or your edits and they will go uh, onto your image based on the luminance values that the mask created for you. So let me hide the mask. Uh, the, the other thing you can do, let me uh, show you this real quick, is invert the mask, which means it'll focus on the dark areas and not the light. So let me hit invert mask. And now this got a little bit closer to being sort of the gaudy um, version that we had before we created the luminosity mask. Let me show you, there's the before, there's the after. This is the inverted mask. In fact, I will show you the mask. There we go. Now that's the opposite because we inverted it of the previous luminosity mask. And so as you can see here, there's really no mask in the sky. And the darker areas like the bicycle and these doorways that were uh, very lightly touched with the mask in the, in the previous version are now heavily touched. Which means, as you can see in the photo, let me show you, that that preset, that late fall with that over uh, sort of overcooked colors and all that is a lot more applicable in the darker areas whereas in the sky now you don't see it at all because there's really not much of a mass there and so i'm going to go back to uh inverting it uh, back to the original based on the light values not the dark and there you go 
So that's that. Let me uh, let me clear that one more time. If you remember, that's the luminosity mask. Let me clear uh, the preset and clear the mask. And I'm just gonna go add that preset one more time. And this is at 100% opacity without a luminosity mask. And there you go. So as you can see, it's pretty overcooked, but with the luminosity mask, it was a much more subtle application of the, uh, of the preset to the photo. So then from there, if you didn't want to use a preset, for example, uh, you could create a luminosity mask and then just go adjust any of these menus based on whatever it is you want to do. And it works wonders. It's a great way if you want to you know, brighten the shadows or you want to do something to the lighter parts of the photo, you can create the luminosity mask and then quickly and easily use the menus over here to make those adjustments if you prefer to do that instead of a preset. It's really up to you. I'll show you one more photo. Let me just kill this. I'm going to grab this set of brackets and I'm going to do a merge to an HDR real quick. And we will go in here and do the same thing and I'll just show you uh, how it looks on a landscape photo. So just one moment while this HDR merges. Here we go. Okay, so uh, there's your base HDR photo without any edits. And this is a landscape, a sunset I shot actually here in Austin, Texas. So I'm going to create the layer and let me go get a preset. I'm going to get this cool day. Uh, I think this might show up pretty well. Okay, so cool day, very blue in the sky and a little bit of touch of color along the ridge line and kind of blue here in, in the shadow areas as well. So that's the, uh, that's the layer without a luminosity mask. Let me clear that. Let me show you how easy it is. You just go create a luminosity mask and it'll take it just a moment here and it'll create the mask for you. There it is. I'll show you the mask one more time. There you go. So here, there's a lot of light because the scene was fairly well lit even though it was a sunset. The way the base HDR came out, it's fairly well lit except along the ridge line and the reflections were of the trees where it's pretty dark. So I can invert that if I wanted to do it the other way. There you go. You can see now that the mask is much lighter up here where the light values are and heavier mask along the ridge line where it's dark. Just an inversion, basically a dark luminosity mask instead of the, uh, the light one. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me do that. Now hide the mask and I'm gonna invert it back to where it's the normal. So let me show you a cool day. There's cool day now applied. If you, uh, if you recall from the first version, before I put the luminosity mask on this layer, it was a bit more blue, a bit more intense, but there it is. And the other thing, of course, you could change the opacity and take it down a little bit. Uh, you can always do that with each layer. The opacity slider is, is there for a reason, and uh, it's, it works wonders. So if you like a natural HDR, you create a luminosity mask, but maybe you say, gosh, it's a little too blue, you can just take that down a little bit and reduce the opacity of that layer. Uh, now, let me show you just, I'm just going to invert this mask. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. So I inverted the mask. You can see, let me show you that again. Uh, show mask. There it is. Uh, the dark layers are more affected than the light ones because I inverted it. So let me hide mask. And let me invert again. Go back to normal. There you go. You can sort of see. I think this is a better application because of the light values here. It was a little too bright and a little too blue in the dark areas. Uh, when I inverted it, but that's an example of how you can do it. Uh, we could also try a different preset if you like. I'll just look in the realistic one. Let's say dark light. Let me go apply the dark light preset to this uh, luminosity mask layer. There you go. Very subtle, very, uh, very gentle. Uh, let me show you before and after. So very subtle application. And just for fun, I'm going to invert this mask and see what happens. Yeah, not a whole lot there. It wasn't a big difference. Uh, let me show you the before and after. There you go. I'm going to invert it back to uh, the original. There you go. Uh, but that's a great way to uh, quickly and easily add some edits to your photo with a mask that's based on light values. That's really what luminosity masking does. Super easy, but super powerful. It gives you an incredible amount of control over your image. And I think one of the great things is, as you can see from uh, these examples, it allows you to take really any of the presets in Aurora, even ones that you may consider to be too intense for an image, and apply them in a very subtle manner. And while I like my, sometimes, you know, I like to push the sliders to the right in some of my HDRs, there's plenty of times I want to keep it very natural and very subtle. This is a great photo for that. And so with this luminosity mask, I went from a base HDR to that very quickly. And then, you know, if you want to move the saturation a little bit, maybe warm it up, you know, add a little uh, pump, punch of uh, 
tint, etc. You can do those sort of things like that. And all of a sudden, you still have a very natural uh, HDR because, again, this is all on the luminosity mask layer. So it's being uh, sort of gently applied across the entire image based on the luminosity mask. So I hope that helps. Feel free to uh, leave any comments or questions if you have them. And I appreciate your time. Have a good day, and uh, I'll see you out there shooting. Thanks.